Hello, 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 Russian Whips viewers. It's Sandra again with you, and uh, <laughs> I thought I've, I, I, <laughs> it's been a while since I made last, last, my last video for you, and uh, today I want to demonstrate one of the, you know, knives I got for sale on my uh, closed uh, Facebook group. Some of you may, uh, may have seen it, others say it for the first time. Now I want to show it in action. So this is uh, the, you know, polyurethane uh, insulation tube I use for covering uh, my, you know, for shipping my products. Uh, many of you have received Nagaikas. I use it, uh, you know, to wrap Nagaikas, to wrap the knives and some other things. I think it's pretty handy. And uh, like now I got this full tube and I want to cut it so I can use it later for, you know, packaging my shipments. And uh, while I'm doing this, I want to explain a little bit about this knife. This uh, particular one was designed by a Russian uh, knife fighting, you know, coach and uh, former Spetsnaz uh, officer Andrei Kocherkin, and uh, he called it an NDK-17. Uh, the well, the uh, scout or reconnaissance, you know, assault. Knife. Basically, uh, it's a tanto type knife uh, with uh, a little bit of a curve, and um, it's used. Uh, well, the idea behind this knife was to have a very massive stopping power, to have a big, you know, area of impact uh, that would, you know, uh, inflict a very uh, you know, appalling and serious wound to anybody affected, and um, actually, uh, it's there's a special technique involved. But basically, the base technique is the you know uh, jujitsu or karate or you know kendo or fighting technique. Uh, I I can I can uh, attach probably a couple of uh, links to the particular knife but and uh, the knife fighting techniques that he uses and a little bit more supply a little bit more information so when i first learned about this knife i wanted to uh, replicate it and uh, order a dozen or, or more at at uh, pakistan at one of the suppliers i had found on uh, online okay and uh, basically because the original knives go for something like over 100 bucks in Russia I know that for for, for US and the UK it, it's it's not a lot but like for Russia it's still a lot of money <laughs> sometimes uh, for a knife you know um, which you are not even sure uh, you, you really like or want but it was kind of a you know, interesting thing, and uh, so I, I, I <laughs> you know, um, had this entrepreneurial idea to just like uh, order a bunch of knives uh, at a wholesale price and then resell them. And uh, so I found the supplier online, uh, launched uh, the whole, you know, project of building these knives, paid for them. Had them shipped from Pakistan and uh, tried to sell them, but uh, somehow, uh, well, I, I still got a few left. So let me let me show you exactly how it's, how it works. So this is a, a bit of a curved knife with micarta handle, and this thing is massive. I mean, it's like six millimeters thick, and uh, it's it's uh, has a one sided one side, uh, you know, sharpening. The other side is completely flat. So what it does, actually, uh, because it has this type of blade, you can really apply a lot of pressure here and cut very well. You know, it's 
it cuts like a kukri, but the kukri is rounded, and this is kind of sharp. And this this is made of a D2 steel and a micarta handle, as I mentioned, and it has, um, as always, the original, you know, leather scabbard with rivets. So what I like about this knife, it's really massive. It's it can be used as a bushcraft knife or a little hatchet, and uh, at the same time, it can be used as a as a real knife. I mean, if you uh, well, the closest equivalent I I would have is the box cutter, or you know, yeah, well, for box cutting, it's a perfect one because. It really does the job. You can ruin any box. I mean, you can just uh, shred it to pieces in no time. It's very heavy duty. And actually, believe it or not, I used it as a throwing knife as well. And uh, it does well. I mean, it, it really does. So um, I have a few left, like I mentioned. So if you're interested, you can contact me uh, in uh, direct message. Yeah, some of you, uh, you know, may have... Um, well, I, I, I had a comment on my, you know, Facebook group, uh, people uh, saying that, okay, they not, don't trust the Pakistan, you know, knife makers. But, guys, I mean, it, I had it sharpened, by the way. It, it, it comes not sharpened, uh, uh, it came not sharpened as original. So I took it to one guy who has this, uh, you know, equipment to sharpen knives. And he was, I mean, first he was enthusiastic about it, but then after a while he wrote me back and said, hey, I took one knife to sharpen from you, but uh, I'm not taking anymore because this is hard as hell. And uh, I mean, he, is, he had very hard time sharpening it. But once sharpened, this knife is a killer. I mean, it's, it's, it's very sharp. It does the job. So uh, there's no way I can sharpen it you know, using the, the home, uh, home, you know, appliances for sharpening, you, you, using the normal file, I probably wouldn't be able to make it. So, but any of you who have the proper equipment or have the access to proper equipment will have no problem. I, I think it's, I mean, it's like I'm 99% sure this is a real D2 and with the price of just 50 bucks, uh, you know, this knife, I think, is a good buy. I mean, it's a real nice buy. It's a deal. So if you think so, PM me and have this knife shipped to you by Russian Whips from Russia with Love. Okay, tell me in comments what you think and uh, if you have any proposals. I mean, I'm open. And uh, make sure you join my Facebook group and... Um, uh, and invite your, your your pals, your mates, you know, who, who are interested in, uh, you know, uh, watching some of the cool uh, leather products, saps, coin saps, coin purses, self defense, uh, EDCs, and uh, who are, you know, we are very friendly and uh, welcoming community there. Uh, I know a lot of people personally, and I've dealt with most of people I have in this group, and uh, I, I'm proud of this group. This is a real cool group to be in. So make sure you join, and uh, see you there. Bye-bye.